One of the major historic sites along the Trail of Tears is the Van House, which has been turned into a state park in Chatsworth, Georgia. This is by far the best preserved historic Cherokee Indian home in existence. It's the home of Joseph Van. It was built in 1818. Very little of the structure has ever been altered. So once you step inside, you're 200 years in the past. The Vans were uh, the wealthiest Cherokee uh, family in the Cherokee Nation prior to the Trail of Tears. They were merchants. The Vans were the largest slave-owning family in the Cherokee Nation. And not only were they slave owners, they were importers as well. It started with a patriarch named James Van, who was half Cherokee, and he grew up speaking both his father's English and his mom's Cherokee, so he was bilingual at a very convenient time, 1768, and he becomes a, a delegate from the Cherokee Nation to Washington. But because they happened to be partially Cherokee, um, they were also forced out. The state of Georgia wanted ways to evict the wealthy Cherokee early because a lot of these wealthy mixed bloods were the leadership of the times. So they made a law specific to wealthy Cherokee saying that any Cherokee who continues to employ white people violates Georgia law and they must leave their land immediately. They evict Joe Van by force from this house. And that's where you saw the, the burn mark on the landing. The soldiers came in, took a burning log, threw it on the landing of the staircase to smoke everyone out. It's one of the few places where you can say with certainty, this family's trail of tears starts right on this spot. 